Hi, I'm Angela Soland, and we're here at RGF Environmental Group with our Executive Director of Science and Technology, Dr. James Marston. Today we're going to talk about the recent testing conducted on our HALO LED air purification system. Can you explain what's unique about the HALO LED? Yes, Angela, thank you. Uh, the HALO LED is an innovative IAQ device that's unique in that it's both mercury-free and zero ozone compliant. Can you now tell us about the testing and what protocols were put in place? Yes, um, we went to an independent accredited laboratory called Intertech, based in Columbus, Ohio, and asked them to evaluate the HALO LED uh, for reductions in uh, a viral uh, surrogate for SARS-CoV-2 called MS2. Uh, and they uh, set up a, a controlled study where they had a large test chamber 10 by 10 by 10 or 1,000 cubic feet uh, in which they nebulized or aerosolized the virus into the chamber and evaluated the reductions associated with the treatment using the HALO LED. Can you explain a little more about what a surrogate is? Yes, uh, a surrogate is a microorganism that is non-pathogenic but behaves similarly to the pathogen of concern. In this case, we're really concerned about controlling SARS-CoV-2, the, the, the uh, virus that causes COVID-19. Uh, but it's much easier and safer to work with a surrogate because it's not pathogenic. And we can um, estimate the effect of the treatment on SARS-CoV-2 uh, by using a non-pathogenic uh, virus that behaves similarly. What is a control, and did you use one? Yes. Uh, uh, the control is, uh, is, is really just performing the same exact experiment without the treatment. So in the same chamber that we use for evaluating the HALO LED, we aerosolize the MS2 virus exactly the same way and measured the natural decay that occurred over a two-hour period. What were the test results? The HALO LED was very effective at reducing the MS2 in the, in the uh, uh, control chamber. Uh, more than 99.9% .9 of the virus was inactivated over the two-hour period of the test. Are you planning on sharing these results with the CDC and other health organizations? Uh, yes, in fact I, I emailed a contact at the CDC yesterday and uh, we'll follow up with a discussion about, about these results because they are quite significant. Also EPA. Okay. Right. And uh, EPA, by the way, they're conducting similar studies uh, and they're, they're also using the surrogate MS2. That's one of the reasons we selected it. What are RGS plans for future testing? We have already begun testing the uh, HALO LED at the University of Georgia. Uh, this time we're using a bacteria, not, not a virus, the bacteria is E. coli. And the test will be similar in that we'll measure the reductions in E. coli over time using the uh, HALO LED. Great, thank you very much. Thank you, Angela.